Focus. Come in to focus. Hey guys, it's Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm today. We're taking the $100 truck for a little ride. We've got to go over to our sawmill buddies. They have some burnt oil that we're going to use for burning all these huge brush piles. Our burnt oil or diesel oil is an approved substance in our state to burn brush piles and that's what we're gonna use to get our brush piles burning probably in about a month or so when everything dries out. So on today's vlog, I'm doing a little bit of running and gunning. We're gonna take the $100 truck, go over there, we're gonna pick some stuff up and we're gonna zip back over here and I've got some cool stuff in a box that I'm gonna plant on the farm. It's something really cool, something really special and I think you'll really enjoy it and I think you'll understand when I show you. Thanks a lot, let's get on the road, have some fun, woo! Folks, before we get started on today's vlog, I want to let you know we still have shirts available for a limited time only, so get on them while they're hot. This is the Stony Ridge Farmer I Support Veteran Farmer shirt. It's a little less loud than the $100 pickup truck shirt, but we have two shirts available. You can go online to bonfire.com and just search in the keyword Stony, or you can go down below in the video description and click the links, and I'll have links to each shirt. We have them in several different styles men's, children's, tank tops, hoodies, all sorts of stuff. So thanks a lot, guys. Check out the t shirts. They're only available for a limited time. So if you're thinking about buying one, jump on it now. All right, let's get to the video. Ooh, what do we have here? That looks nice and shiny. What is that? A brake pedal? Cover? And whew, I think we might have a match. Folks, I can't say thank you enough to Bob and Kim, some subscribers that went on to Rock Auto and sent me a pedal cover for my brake pedal. Thanks so much, Bob and Kim. I appreciate it. That's awesome. Let's see if it fits on there before we hit the road. That way my foot doesn't slip off the brake. I was gonna take some skateboard tape and put on there, but this is way better. Uh. Whee! Oh. Will you look at that? Look at that, it's a sock for me brake pedal. Will you look at that? Oh, cranky. That's a nice fit. Looks nice. Cool. I like that too. Woo! Feels good on my feet. Thanks, Bob and Kim. Let's get on the road. Going and get. Guys, while we're on our way to our logger friend's house, uh, he's basically a logger. His whole family does logging. They're the people that did the logging operation here on the farm. Um, I, I'd like to ask you, uh, click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and uh, if you're new to the channel or if you're a current subscriber leave me a comment down there tell me what your favorite thing about Stony Ridge Farm is about Stony Ridge Farmer just leave me a comment tell me tell me what you like tell me what you like what you'd like to see more of okay leave me a little comment down there it helps guys this is social media be social it's a good time I know some of you have never left a comment before and I'm not holding my camera, it's on a mount, okay? For all you folks that think I'm gonna die from filming myself while driving down the road. This brake pedal is nice. Man, look at that brake pedal. Whoop! <laughs> Just so you know, uh, you know, a logging operation doesn't operate around here all winter long. It gets so mucky and muddy in the winter time that they end up just working harder to deal with the slime and the slick and the mud. The whole swamp loggers thing is, you know, that's a different world, but around here, folks don't log like that. So here's some of the equipment though. That's what loads the logs, and that thing's what strips the bark, and that thing is what uh, hauls the logs. So all that being said, a mucky, muddy day is what helps a logger to get all caught up with all of his maintenance stuff and cleaning equipment and making sure everything's working right because there's forever something breaking in a logging operation. When you're working with big monstrous equipment like that and big old trees, there's just forever something breaking. They even flipped one of the uh, cutter machines when, uh, when I wasn't at home when they were cutting the trees on our farm. I don't want to be impolite, but I want to take you over here and show you this cool machine. It processes firewood. It's awesome. <laughs> All right, guys, so I want to get a little bit of clearance before I broke the camera out, but these guys got all kinds of stuff going on. These are true country folks. Let me tell you what. 
check it out there's a race car in here so this is their open wheel modified and i guess you know it's sponsored by the logging company and a couple local companies and we're gonna have a stony ridge farmer sticker somewhere right about there on that thing and uh, that'd be pretty awesome someday soon on the stony ridge farm channel we'll be going into the pits for the racetrack for open wheel modified now i don't know if we'll be going to a dirt track or if we'll be going to a road course track but someday sometime soon we're gonna have some fun with this thing rad like-minded people in case you don't know where you are you're in the heart of nascar country here in southwest virginia okay martinsville speedway is about 20 miles up the road most of your nascar racers live within about 100 miles of here so this is nascar country you don't have to be a nascar fan to appreciate it these folks are just the salt of the earth they told me i could come up here and show you something really cool before we go home it's a firewood processing machine and basically these guys sell firewood if you look way back in behind me back here they sell firewood so they have a logging operation nothing really goes to waste so the firewood comes from the waste logs that they don't use so this is the machine right here and basically right here they load the logs up they come over on this and they slide through this little thing right here and there is a chainsaw blade right there that comes down and chops the firewood and it just falls onto this conveyor and shoots it right over into the dump truck and the dump truck takes it over and dumps it way over there now this produces a whole lot of sawdust and you see this pipe right here so this pipe blows all the sawdust into this trailer and then they take that for biofuel they don't waste anything it's super duper cool one day soon when they're cutting firewood when they're not cutting timber we'll come over here and we'll show you this thing in action that'd be pretty awesome let's get on back to the house show you what's in the box Oh, by the way, that thing has a little four-cylinder John Deere diesel engine in it. We'll talk more about it when we come back. Man, just salt of the earth, good people. We were talking about music and racing and all kinds of fun stuff. Great, great people. All right, guys, we're pulling in the driveway, and there's my turkeys. Right there's the turkeys. I got a pack of about five wild turkeys that are running around eating my grass seed. Pretty cool to have wild turkeys on your property, but not so cool to have them eating up all the grass seed you just worked your butt off to put down. Josh, what's in the box? Well, inside this box are walnuts. And the significance of these walnuts is very special to me. These walnuts came from Thomas Jefferson's home called Monticello in Charlottesville, Virginia. So we were up at Monticello about mm, six, seven, eight months ago, something like that. And we saw walnuts all over the ground all over the grounds these walnuts came from around the graveyard where thomas jefferson was buried so cool so we're going to take a piece of history and we're going to plant it on the farm today pretty awesome so we'll throw them on the back of the gator i'll take you down here and show you what we're going to do how we're going to plant them pretty simple and i'm going to say we have about 60 of these so we're going to go along the creek side in different little areas and we'll flag them and we'll mark them so we know where they are and we'll plant our walnuts as long as bugs haven't gotten in them and eaten them yet which i see one that a bug has gotten into mm -mm. there's a little bug hole i thought that thing felt a little bit light so there's a bad one might have to go through these guys and see bugs didn't get them might have fewer than i thought so i'm gonna sort through these real quick and make sure bugs aren't in them the first thing you need to know about walnuts is handling walnuts will make your fingers turn absolutely black so we're going to get some nitrile gloves some work gloves i'll post a link down below that also help keep your hands warm and they're what i use for mechanic gloves i'll post a link down there and we kind of need to break this outer skin i'll show you what it looks like it just looks like a like a outer skin off of these walnuts and these are uh, black walnuts let's get down here and crack one when I was a kid, I remember my grandpa sitting down at the woodshed cracking walnuts. Oh yeah, yeah, she's nice. Here's what the pulp looks like. That's good stuff. Let's try some of it. Mmm. Oh, absolutely delicious. Absolutely delicious. If you never had a walnut, a black walnut, off the tree, if you've never shelled a walnut, there's some work involved in that. This thing's a pain in the butt to get out. It's still a pain in the butt come on bud all right so they're good we know they're good we're gonna go ahead and break off all the little black nasty off the outside edge and we'll get the walnut trees planted this is just living right guys it's just the way to live doing this kind of stuff smack this guy a little bit in there it's breaking off this chunky stuff 
It almost looks like if you've ever seen Ghostbusters, at the end of Ghostbusters, when Sir, Sir, Journey, Sir Gurney Weaver comes out of the animal and looks like a dog, that is almost what it looks like on a walnut. That's your good description. A lot of the old timers, instead of doing what I'm doing, they just take them and set them in a place where they could walk over them or drive over them, and that helps knock off this black. It's gonna be a bit of a job. I think I've got a better idea on how to get the shells off these walnuts. They're a pain in the butt. It involves a bat. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a ticket. <laughs> Check that out. That does it right there. Man, you're doing it the dummy way, Josh. I knew I was smart enough to do this. Guys, Mrs. Stony Ridge has been out of town for the weekend. She had a conference to go to for work. I'd rather stay here myself. Kind of rather never ever leave here. I knew just hear football bat come in handy sometime. <laughs> There's something we haven't talked about. There's a few cool things you can do with this walnut, these walnut hulls right here. So if you soak these in water, I do believe, or in olive oil, they will pull out that walnut stain color and you can actually stain wood naturally with this natural walnut. Pretty cool. We're not going to do that. We're going to throw it away because I don't have anything I need to stain. So we're looking at a fairly simple planting procedure here and I'll show you exactly what we're going to do. We're going to open up the ground and jab one of these in the ground and then let it grow. The biggest threat to what we're doing here is going to be squirrels, okay? Probably 50% of the nuts that I plant today will be picked up by squirrels, which is unfortunate, but it's the way it goes. All right, so I've got my flags and I'm gonna try two different tools. I have this tamper tool and basically it's also used for prying rocks out of the ground and I'm gonna try it and I'm also gonna try my little short-handled spade shovel. So we'll see which one works the best. First thing I'm gonna try is the tamper. I feel like that'll work good. Oh yeah, nice. Daddy liked that. Tamper works absolutely fabulous. And I'll stick this in the ground right beside it so I'll know where it is. So my thought is I'll plant three in this general vicinity and everywhere I plant, I'll plant either two or three within two or three feet of each other. And that way my trees grow where I want my trees to grow. And if a squirrel decides to get one of them, maybe he won't get all three. Let me show you what I do with this tamper right here. This is the spade that I'll jab in the ground. Jab them in the ground, wedge it back. Jab it a little bit, wedge it back. Drop my nut in the hole, give them a little light tap, smooth it over. Then I'll put a flag right in there. Good. Now I'm just gonna take my bucket and my tamper and my nuts and I'm gonna go all around the farm like Johnny Appleseed and plant a bunch of nuts. It's gonna be rad. So hopefully we'll have some beautiful walnut trees here on the farm and maybe by the time my grandkids come around, they'll be big enough that they can cut and make furniture out of. So guys, thanks a lot for coming with me today. I got a lot of work to do. I got to get all these nuts in the ground. The sun's going down. It's getting cold outside. So I'm going to get busy, get my work done. Thanks a lot. And we'll keep you posted on the farm vlog as time goes on and let you know if these walnut trees came up. I feel pretty confident they will come up if the squirrels don't eat all the nuts. So thanks a lot. We're going to get busy. Be sure and click the like button. Subscribe to the channel. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for coming. Post some comments down there, guys. Tell me what you like about Stony Ridge Farmer. Tell me what you'd like to see. Please click the bell down there. It'll notify you when I post a new video. We'll see you next time. All right? Woo! Yeah, come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be Stony Ridge.